server is a copy of the last, there's really only one terabyte of unique space because the, the, okay. each, because the sample server 2 is a copy of server 1. So, so that means that no matter how many servers you have, the same data is going to get on all of the servers? Yeah. Oh, okay. All the servers. So it doesn't pay to have a whole lot of servers that are replicating yeah. that, right? Yeah. And, and you'll see that in the demo where, where we'll have four VMs and it's, it's replicated between all four and you've got four copies of the data. And so scaling out doesn't really buy you much. You're just going to have a lot of copies of the same data. Okay. Good question. <laughs> oh, I don't have a question. Oh, now here we go. Here it is. <laughs> I do have a real question. I didn't hear the introduction. Who are you? How do you oh. use this stuff? So I'm Lauren, and I'm talking about Bluster. Okay. Yeah. Your break. She's only on break. <laughs> Any other questions for Well, this replication is that only for security, so that you don't lose your data, or are they putting you know, five million Taylor Swift songs on different servers because five million people want to get into them all? No, it's mainly just for it's mainly just for data protection security. Okay. But but also replicating it is good too because if you all of a sudden have a lot of, you know, everybody wants to listen to Taylor Swift, you could have multiple servers <coughs> hitting it, uh, serving that up instead so of having like one of them all at the same time. Luster handles all that background traffic. Okay, so on to the stride volumes. Stride volumes are for really, really big files. In fact, they're so big that you have to split them into pieces to store them. So, like, here is one ginormous file. You have, it's split into different parts. So parts one, three, and five are on server one, and then parts two, four, and six are on server two. And this is good because, you know, because if a lot of people are trying to access the same file at one time, odds are they're not gonna all start at the exact same moment. So, like Netflix, if a brand new movie came out, it's got a lot of computer animation, special effects, just a lot of stuff in it, then you can, then they might use a stretch volume because now that, because it's so big and if a lot of people wanted to watch that movie at one time, then it would be easier to, for the servers to handle. So one don't, doesn't get completely overlooked. So you can also combine different types of volumes as in the distributed replicated volume. Thank you. And the distributed replicated volume, whoa, I can't talk tonight. The distributed replicated volume distributes the files across all of the bricks and then replicates them across every, in this case, every two servers. So like file one is, is like the file one and file two are distributed across the entire volume of our are distributed across both of the replicated volumes and then they're replicated to both of the ser to both of the servers if they're if they're cluster. Need some elevation. So if you had a terabyte. Okay, and if you had a terabyte, if like if each of the servers were a terabyte, you would actually end up with two terabytes of unique space. And because server two is a copy of server one and server four is a copy of server three. And the advantage is that if you remember from the replicated volume, the disadvantage was that there was too much data protection, and for the distributed volume, there wasn't enough data protection. And with and when you combine both of them, you get the benefits of each. And so now we're going to talk about geo replication. All right. So geo 